Hey guys, it's Wayne the Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video I'm doing in a set of videos that show you how we're responding to some review comments that we got from City of Brentwood on a tentative parcel mapper processing. Uh, City of Brentwood is in, in East Bay, California. So, uh, in the first video, we went through one and two here, and, and we're on number three. So, uh, the city is going to allow the client to do a deferred improvement agreement. So, we're not going to develop these parcels immediately. Uh, the client plans on selling them after the subdivision. And so, the city agreed to defer some of the improvements till they go in to pull a building permit because we don't really know what we're going to... We don't know what's going to be built. Uh, these are zoned commercial. You can build all kinds of stuff on them. And so uh, they have this uh, information. So it's great that the city is going to allow the client to do a deferred improvement agreement. Uh, but uh, I've got a couple questions here about um, uh, how they worded this. Um, so this is condition 5C. Okay. So uh, what we're going to say in our letter. We're, so we're going to, just like we did before, uh, we're going to label this. So this is 5C. Okay. And uh, I like to I, I like to give these a name. I wish. I wish cities and counties would do this, but we're going to say Deferred Improvement Agreement. Okay, so we don't know. We're going to start the same way. We don't know at this time how the commercial parcels may develop after the subdivision is completed. The city has required that we identify and identify improvements to be designed and built part of the deferred improvement agreement apparently I can't spell deferred uh, we like the city to clarify the way in way we will need to do this is an exhibit showing the proximate location and type of improvements sufficient does the city have an example from a previous project they can provide. Okay, so I'm more than happy to comply with this. I just need to know how they want it done, right? Um, and I don't know, like, do they want 30% design plans or is it a sketch? I just, I need, I need them to talk to me, right? Okay. Um, then in addition, so we're going to say in addition, we'd like to know how the city will calculate our client's fair share the off-site improvements that will be required and how our client will be reimbursed I'm going to say our client or future landowner will be reimbursed reimbursed for um, let's see how do I want to word that any costs to uh, construct off-site improvements that exceed this fair share so the client wants me to improve a road and run in utilities for 2,000 feet um, and that, those you just trunk sewer, trunk water, trunk storm, uh, road improvements, both sides of the road. <laughs> um, they can't ask my client to pay for all that under California law. There's a nexus, what they call a nexus argument. That's a legal argument that says you can only ding my client for the impacts of his project. There's no way my client's two commercial parcels require all that infrastructure, right? Everybody that develops along this corridor is going to use that. So. He needs to be, if they make him bear the cost of all that infrastructure up front when he goes to pull a building permit, um, he needs to be reimbursed when other parcels develop and tap into that infrastructure. So we, uh, that's going to be a major sticking point, uh, but we got to talk about it. Okay, so that takes care of item number three. 
when I say it takes care of it, it doesn't resolve it, but it, it puts it on the table, negotiating table with the city. Okay, then 4, 5, and 6, uh, the, the city's going to require some annexations. So I'm going to try and see if I can group those together. Um, so it's uh, 5, D, E, and F. Okay. Um, and I, I probably can't, so we're going to say... By D, community, facilities, district. So we're just going to say the city is requiring that we annex our parcels into a community facility district. Is this an existing district or a new district that must be formed because that could change what we got to do and then what are the specific annexation requirements does the city have an example of how the annexation is prepared from a previous project that they can provide. So some cities want a simple exhibit, some cities want an exhibit and a land description, some cities just want a land description, sometimes there's fees to pay to form the district, like they got to talk to me, that's, that's pretty vague, right? So they want two other annexations and we're going to just going to copy this down because I have the exact same questions. Okay, so 5E and 5F. Okay. okay, so 5E is the Lighting and Landscape District. Lighting and Landscape and District. Okay, the other thing I want to know is Um, what um, improvements on site on site will be maintained by the district? What will the annual assessments for this maintenance be? Okay, so I want to know what. Well, they're going to make me annex. Why? What are they maintaining and how much is it going to cost? Right? So we need to know that. Okay. Okay, then the last one we have, I think, is the fire. Let's see. Fire Community Facilities District. Into a Fire Community Facility District. Okay. I want to know what will the annual assessment be. For the fire protection provided by the district. Okay, so I need to know what are they going to charge for that, right? Because we're trying to figure out if this project pencils. That's the whole point of a tentative map, right? So I need to know what all these assessments are. Okay. okay, then the city has this weird thing right here where they say all applicable fees shall be paid, right? But they don't give me a list. Like, that's the whole point of a tentative map. <laughs> so we should be able to figure this out before a tentative map. Now I got a tentative map, they still won't tell me. All right, so uh, that is condition 5F. So we're going to, oh, so that means I misnumbered something. 5, D, E, now, I'm, now I lost my uh, landscape and maintenance, oh, that's D, so D, D is both of these, okay, 5, D, this is D, 
Okay, this is E. And then 5F is the fees. So we're going to say, um, what do we got to pay? Agricultural mitigation fee that we pay an agricultural mitigation fee. Like to understand why this fee applies to our project and the current uses of the land are not for agriculture, right? So why are you charging me that fee if I'm not taking land out of agricultural production? We also, we also request, I should say we request, request an explanation as to why this we also request the city provide the amount of the fee to be paid. In the new paragraph, we're going to say city also mentions, I should say states. That other fees may apply. It is critical that we understand exactly what fees will apply to the subdivision and understand the and are provided the exact amount of those fees. Please provide that information in writing as soon as possible. So you got to tell me what the fees are guys. You can't leave it open-ended. Okay. Alright, this I got. This got copied down. All right, so that's basically it. Those were the critical items in the letter. Um, everything else I could I could live with, basically. Those were the critical parts. So I'm going to send this draft. I'm not going to add my signature. Okay, um, we'll we'll drop this down so it's on the next page. Uh, but that's not bad. Page and a half. And uh, yeah, you know, city, I need you to work with me a little bit here. Let's figure this out. Okay, and I think we will. I think we'll uh, we'll we'll come to, we'll come to some accommodation with staff on this. But you know, it's just. If there's a there's a struggle, right? I'm I'm trying to lock the city down, so I can understand if the project is going to pencil and, and what my clients' costs are going to be. And you know, the city's trying to preserve as much flexibility to impose conditions later on in the process as they can. And so there's there's just there's a tug of war there, but we'll get it figured out. So I want to do uh, mostly do that video for Danny. Uh, he was really wanting to work on this with me. And we did we just didn't have time. So um, so I I went ahead and recorded that for him. And uh, we'll go ahead and save this to PDF, and we'll get it off to the city, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.